Hey guys, so this is my two month update. It's actually been about two months and about a week, so a little over than a month. But um, here it is. So uh, currently I'm having some issues. Um, I've had a lot of pimples and stuff as I showed in my last month's video, but it kind of progressed and didn't get any better. Um, so, uh, I got a little worried, I'm not gonna lie, I, uh, went to go see a doctor, um, and, uh, apparently I have folliculitis, which is, uh, infection of, uh, the hair follicles, and, um, uh, the treatment for it is antibiotics, and, uh, the antibiotic is doxycycline. <clears throat> the problem and issue I was having is uh, um, over here you need to have a doctor and when you go to a doctor they have to like refer you to a specialist a specialist you know is a dermatologist and usually that takes a couple of months to get an appointment so this is one of the downsides of you know doing your operation in another country and then you run into an issue like this and then you know, they tried to help, but they can't do anything. Like in Turkey, you can go to any pharmacy, you can buy any medication that you want. You don't need to even a doctor's, you know, uh, prescription. You just, you know, walk up and say, I need this and pay for it. And that's it, you know. Um, the, the, the way that the medical system set up in the U.S. is very difficult and complex. So I'll just leave it at that. Anywho, I'll uh, give you guys a look at how uh, my progress is and what I'm going through. So here's a close-up of the front. My donor area. I'm sorry, my crown. As you can see, it's still red. Lots of bumps and pimples. My left side donor area, right side. So yeah, honestly, I was debating on whether to make this video or not. I was just um, not feeling my best. Um, obviously, you know, just being self-conscious about myself and my appearance and all that, but um, I, I looked, I didn't see anybody that, you know, really had these issues or even went into depth. So I figured, you know, I, I should, I, I want to be honest and show you the exact procedure and everything that I went through personally. Because, I mean, I've watched a lot of the other videos and they're just all about how it's like this, you know, magic fairy tale story of how everything went so perfect. I mean, no digs at any of them, but I'm just showing you how my you know journey is and what i went through um it's not a walk in the park it's just so time consuming you have to be so patient and just i don't know i thought i'm, I'm a very clean person I, I kept up you know with everything all the instructions they gave me i went and picked you know one of the most expensive doctors in all of turkey and Still, you know, I ended up like this. I don't know how it happened. I don't know why it happened. I'm still trying to figure all that stuff out. But I just also want to be honest and, you know, and, you know, be there for someone that, you know, comes to these same issues or, you know, hopefully it doesn't happen. But I mean, I, I'm sure I'm not the first and I'm sure I won't be the last. But I mean, if I can help somebody out <clears throat> and show them that, you know, what I'm going through and see what you know my outcome is then you know they can um maybe plan ahead maybe get these antibiotics to have when you go out and you know get your procedure just just as a backup you know just as a just in case it does occur and you can just you know do a antibiotic cycle and you know um, get that taken care of but yeah you know it's not it's not a good good feeling it hasn't been a good couple of months for me you know, I know it's still early I know it was a big surgery and I know it takes you know a long time it's a long process 
but like I said, I'm still, I'm just, I'm just trying to be honest and, and I want to show you guys, you know, what I'm going through and how I'm feeling and yeah, you know, this is, this is just, this is just what's going on. But, you know, I, I'm still, you know, uh, hoping for the best and I still, you know, look in the mirror in the mornings and I see, you know, new hairs popping out. So that's always exciting. I am. So I'm still hopeful and I'm really thankful that, you know, that the hairs are growing and things are moving along, but it's just a little speed bump in my uh, journey, I guess. But uh, I wanted to share that with you guys and, uh, you know, I'll keep you guys posted um, on the next month. Hopefully next month will be better. Um, the pills are about a 10 day cycle so two a day hopefully you know it's out of my system and um i'll have better results for month three and maybe four and five and so on but most most of the videos that i've seen that you know a lot of the guys at month three is when they see a lot of growth and month four you know they see some density so hopefully that can be my uh my case as well but i have not gotten a haircut I just, you know, lined up my sides here, but uh, I am going to wait the three months, you know, uh, to to get a haircut. It's kind of, you know, long on the sides and short up top, but it is what it is. Uh, I don't really mind. Um, I do wear a hat, but I wear like a trucker's hat where it has like a big wide uh, front where it doesn't really touch my hair. I'm really, you know, cautious about that kind of stuff. Um, and I only wear it if I'm gonna be like in direct sunlight. So if I get out of the car, I just put it on till I get into, you know, the building where I'm going and I take it off. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Um, hair care wise, um, I just, I used, I honestly used the, the medical shampoo that they gave me for like the first two weeks and then I switched over to like a baby shampoo and now I'm just using like a all natural like uh, clean shampoo uh, that's about it uh, nothing too special nothing too fancy uh, that's it yeah so here's another look Hopefully uh, next month uh, it'll be better results. Uh, until then, see you guys on the next one.